Hi there, Paul here from the engineeringmindset.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the length of the arc of a circle at distance there. There's two different ways to do this, and that depends on if you know the the angle there and if it's measured in degrees or if the angle is measured in radians. And they're two different numbers. So, well you can interchange them. Um, or convert them, sorry, probably don't need to change them. So they're, they're the two different ways we're going to be looking at. So there's some symbols and numbers which we're going to be using throughout these, so I'll just declare what these are here. So the first one is this symbol here, theta, and that equals the angle, so that, that distance there. The second one is A, and that e will equal the length of the arc, so that distance there. The third one is R and that stands for radius and that is the distance from the center point of the circle all the way out to that arc. And the last one is pi which you might be familiar with and if not that is equal to 3.14 and it actually goes on and on and on and on but for simplicity we're going to use it to two decimal places. So let's have a look and assume that you've measured your uh, the angle of, of your arc and it is measured in degrees so for that we're going to have a which is the length of the arc is equal to bracket theta the angle times Oh, no, it's not, sorry, it's divide. Divided by 360 degrees. And really, if you think about that, that's just a ratio. So it's what, what percent is that angle there of the entire circle? The entire circle would have 360 degrees, and you want to know how much of that you've got. So that's the first part of the formula. And the second part is of the, you need to calculate the circumference. And so what you want to do is that times bracket, hopefully I've got room here, 2 times pi times r in radius. Just about fit that in there. So let's start putting some numbers in, do an example. Let's say that the angle was measured and that was, let's choose, oh, I'll color code it so you can fully understand and follow. Let's say that the theta, that's not a good theta, Ugh, that'll do. Theta is equal to uh, 120 degrees. And that our radius is equal to f 5 meters. Okay. So we'll have 120 divided by 360 Actually, that's not very good. Free. Oh, I can't draw this free. Three, there we go, 
six zero and that is equal to zero point three 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 it goes on and on and on and on but we'll do it to four decimal places for now so then we re we can rewrite that as 0 0.3 3 3 3, 3 multiplied by 2 times 3.14 it's a lot of threes in this video times 5 meters no point three 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 times well two times three point one four is six point two eight six point two eight times five meters not point three 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 times six point two eight times five is thirty one point four two And so uh, 0 0.33333 times 31.42 is equal to 10.47 meters. And I'll do an example on the calculator as well. So we had 120 degrees times 360. Ah, did it again. 120 divided by 360 equals 0 0.3333333. Very precise number here. We only done it to four decimal places, but this is much easier on the calculator. So we're going to have that number times bracket 2 times pi 3.14 blah 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 on 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 times 5 meters bracket equals 10.47 on the long, but we'll trim it down to two decimal places. And the second method to do this is really simple. And that's if you know this distance here and it's measured in radians so for that we would want to use the formula a is equal to i'm just changing the colors here sorry theta times the radius so this is a lot sim uh, much simpler version method to do so and for that let's say that this angle here was measured in radians and it was um, 
two points this angle is equal to two point zero nine four radians I'll just leave that as rad 2.094 radians and the radius again is going to be r is equal to 5 meters so Two point zero nine four multiplied by five meters is equal to just choose the color there, is equal to Obviously, the same number 10.47 meters, and we'll get the calculator up and do that example. And that is 2.094 times 5 meters, 10.47 meters. That simple. Thank you.